the depths of the gloomy corridors that comprised Zack Bagan's haunted museum, a malevolent spirit manifested itself. An eerie figure of Lily, a doll with a terrible history, was hidden away in a forgotten nook. It was a doll with a terrible history. Having been born in the shadows of Germany during the 19th century, her beginnings were cloaked in darkness, and she possessed mysteries that murmured down the halls of time throughout her whole life. The doll known as Lily had an air of dread that was unlike any other doll. It seemed as if her dead eyes, which had been harmless and amusing in the past, were now holding a malignant look that could penetrate one's very being. In spite of this, those who had the courage to approach her were not the only ones who felt shivers down their spines because of her glassy gaze. A chilly wind blew through the eerie rooms of the museum, carrying with it rumors of her horrific story that traveled through the walls of the museum. There were rumors that an antique dealer happened across her by accident. He was captivated by her sinister and enigmatic allure, but he was oblivious of the horrors that she may carry inside her. Having no idea that he had unleashed a torrent of nightmares and spiritual anguish upon himself, he was completely unaware of the situation. Night after night, the dealer's sleep was disturbed by eerie images of a little girl who was caught in a web of sorrow that was twisted and contorted. Her cries reverberated throughout his nightmares, a reverberation of a past that was filled with unfathomable suffering. When the dealer's mind began to unravel, he was overcome with terror and sorrow, and he began to realize that he needed to cut off his connection to this cursed doll. While he was receiving revelations about the anguish and horrible terrors she suffered while she was alive, he pondered about the fact that she had truly been a real person at one point in time before the actual doll was constructed. He was definitely in the midst of his slumber. It was clear to him that getting rid of the doll was the most prudent course of action. When the dealer realized that he would finally be able to free his antique business of her spectral presence, he was relieved and decided to put Lily up for sale. That was the moment when a youngster, who had not yet been affected by the darkness, approached the doll with a feeling of familiarity. Over the course of three arduous hours, the little girl engaged in conversation with Lily, their exchange going beyond the realm of just playing with toys. Her words bore the weight of age-old knowledge as she confided in the proprietor of the business, so disclosing the terrifying reality. Due to the fact that the dealer had previously had night terrors, it was discovered that Lily was not a typical doll. She had been a genuine kid who had been subjected to horrific torture. Her history included some of the most heinous forms of violence that she had ever experienced. A message from beyond was sent via the child's words, which were filled with purity. It was as if the soul of the girl who had been tortured remained inside the porcelain form of the doll. When Zach Begans, a collector of macabre items, first laid eyes on Lily, he said that he could sense an overpowering force flowing from her. He described it as a dark and enigmatic energy that was so powerful that it sent chills down his spine. According to his account, he was able to perceive the existence of a soul that was confined, tormented, and lost, and that was fervently attempting to escape the confines of the doll's vessel. Lily is now residing at the Haunted Museum, where her menacing presence has the ability to captivate the hearts of those who are seeking thrills and who believe in the supernatural. When people come to see her, they are driven to look into her eyes because their brains are preoccupied with the secrets that she keeps hidden. Those who are brave enough to go into the uncharted territory of the unknown are enticed by the persistent echoes of her terrible history that can be heard throughout the museum. On the other hand, people who come into contact with Lily are putting themselves in a precarious situation. The enigmas that surround her are extensive and unsettling both. Those who have the courage to unearth her secrets are left with an everlasting imprint 
because her terrifying aura penetrates even the deepest recesses of the human soul. As she waits, mute but alive with the ghosts of her past, Lily serves as a terrifying reminder that there are certain tragedies that are better left undisturbed. I am grateful that you took the time to read.